Money from Long Ago by Darlene Ramos. Genre, Picture Encyclopedia. Picture encyclopedias provide information on a variety of topics using text and illustrations. Encyclopedias often use text features, such as heads, captions, and color or bold print to help the reader locate important ideas and predict the topic. Entries are in alphabetical order. Look at the title and the head, illustrations, and captions for each section or entry before you read. What do you predict this selection will be about? Verify your predictions as you read. Introduction In ancient times, people did not use paper money or coins. They traded to get the things they needed. A person might trade three ears of corn for five potatoes. A farmer might trade a sheep for several chickens. If the trade was not even, people used other things for payment. They may have used beans, shells, furs, or tools. Here are a few items people used as money. Cowrie shells. Cowries are small snails that live in the ocean. In ancient times, their shiny shells were used as money in China, India, and parts of Africa. The shells are one of the oldest forms of payment. Cowrie shells could be stored or worn. The color and size of the shell would set its price. Feather coils. Before there were coins and paper money, people on the Pacific island of Santa Cruz used a feather coil for money. The coil was made from the red feathers of a honey-eating bird. The feathers were glued on the coil, which is about 10 yards long. Red feather money was used in marriage contracts and to buy boats. Salt bar. Hundreds of years ago, people from Africa and China used salt as money. Pure salt was expensive. Salt was used to keep food from going bad. The salt was cut into standard sizes and covered in reeds. This protected the salt from breaking. It also kept people from scratching off some of the salt between trades. Stone discs. Long ago, people from Yap, an island in the Pacific, used large stone discs as money. The stones had holes in the middle. The giant discs were not moved when paid to a new owner. That's because the largest stones weighed more than 400 pounds. People used the stone discs to arrange marriages and to trade houses or boats. Wampum Centuries ago, Native Americans used a belt of beads for trading. This wampum was made from clam shells that were smoothed into beads. Each belt was special. The bead maker used different colors and patterns. Wampum belts were also traded during peace agreements. <laughs>